Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Troy Bettenhausen. Well, we started our work week pretty chilly with temperatures topping out only in the 40s. Today I've got a high of mid 40s, 46 that is, but notice we start climbing up as we approach the end of the work week. Mid 50s in the forecast for Friday, 60s by this weekend, so we'll be able to ditch the jacket and be able to be outdoors for much of this weekend. Temperature outlook looking even further. This is November 10th through the 15th, or 16th, excuse me, and notice much of the country, including much of the Hawkeye State, under this gray color. Well, that shows that where there's equal chances for either warmer temperatures or cooler temperatures, so not tickling too much, but a far eastern edge does show a little bit warmer than normal. Same with the eastern part of the United States as well as the very southwest corner. So we'll have to see, are we going to be cooler for much of November or will we keep this warmer trend? Look outside over all one at the beautiful fall fo foliage there. Thank you, Jessica, for sending in this photo. We did heat peak fall, fall foliage about a week or so ago. So these leaves that were once red, orange, yellow, now changing over to more of a rust color as we push through the month of November. We have breezy winds in the forecast, so it looks like these leaves potentially may not hang on for too much longer. Threat tracker showing we've got partly cloudy skies through the end of the work week. There's those breezy winds starting to pick up by Friday where we could see gusts of 20, if not 25 miles per hour. There is a chance for sprinkles later on today. Let's walk through that. Future track, 8 a.m. Not buying that cloud cover will be here early today, but it looks like mid to late afternoon, or af mid to late morning, that is, through the early afternoon hours, clouds will start to roll into eastern Iowa. The central part of the state has the best chance at seeing a little bit of rain, mainly in the form of sprinkles. However, that should start to bleed into our far western counties late this afternoon, early evening hours, and then move through overnight. Notice we get a little bit of a change in color here. That's pink. So some of these sprinkles could change over to wet flakes or maybe even a couple of flurries as temperatures fall late tonight through early tomorrow morning. Notice we do have that chance through about 6, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Not expecting any accumulations as, as it should be generally dry across much of the area, but don't be surprised if you see potentially a couple of flurries. You shouldn't have any issues on your way into work, but we do keep a partly cloudy sky throughout much of the day tomorrow. Today's highs are looking in the mid 40s, so kind of a copy and paste forecast from yesterday. Wonder partly cloudy sky. Tonight we're dropping down to the upper 20s, low 30, so another cool night, but not as cold as what we're seeing early this morning. City by city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. We're already in the 50s tomorrow, mid 50s and the work week. We've got 60s on tap for this weekend. Should be a great one to be outdoors. The next chance of rain looks to come midweek next week.